All right, we move back over to Chuck Crosby of the Crosby Law Offices. So, Chuck, Freddie writes in he's got a problem with a new house that he just purchased. Three months after moving in, the HVAC compressor failed. Now, this is not going where you think it's going to go, Chuck, because okay. we know the question normally we get is, so how do you go after the, the, the seller? No. So, Freddie... Uh, had an HVAC contractor come out and put a new compressor into the system. But that compressor failed within three days. And now the same contractor sent a bill for 5240 bucks, which Freddie has refused to pay. And the contractor has sent, and I, I'm not familiar with this term, Chuck, an affidavit of lien on the house. Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, it's a mechanic material men's lien. Okay. And so he's wondering... How does he fight that? Where does he start? Uh, this is a great question for anybody yeah. who might be in the same position who wants to fight a contractor that didn't live up to their word there, right? Well, the well, first thing is you get an attorney to uh, start the lawsuit. Uh, it's that simple. Uh, the guy, uh, there's statutes that allow material men's, uh, which would be guys who provide uh, just the services and the uh, uh, the actual product. So if I'm a carpenter, say, I bring wood, I you know uh, provide services, as long as I meet certain hoops, I can file a lien against the house. But that lien's only good for one year, okay? In that year's time, uh, the person who files the lien has to file a lawsuit to collect the money, or it just disappears. That that mechanic's lien is no good after one year, uh, provided that the lawsuit uh, hasn't been filed. Uh, on the flip side, well, now we've got a guy that is uh, putting a lien on the house that maybe did not provide the services he's saying he provided, um, and that point, you know, that could be slander of title, uh, is what we would call it, uh, where you're saying, Hey, I've got a lien on your property, but you know, not really. My bet is, uh, there's not going to be a huge issue with that because he did provide a service. He did put things in. He just didn't do that job very well. So now, uh, you get your attorney to go after him as you would under any contractual issue. Uh, you know, you said you would do X, you did not do X. I don't owe you any money, but you're saying I do. So let's uh, hash it out in court. So, and again, we're going to give out Chuck's number. Chuck, you don't do that type of work, but you know nope, people who but do. but I right? know who does. That's right. 